How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. Hey, it's good to meet you. Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All mail to be sent to the same alias. Whatever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Doesn't the start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. Close? We do. Not the widest range of latest fashion, I'm afraid. That's all right. I'll look at everything you got. Of course, Mrs. Kilgore. Don't worry about me, Mr. Kilgore. You go get your mail. Brother Fenton, don't mind him, don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys, how'd you boys like a couple? Hey, fine people. Mr. Vanderlind, Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. Huh. Good day, sir. Agent Milk. Are you joining us? We have a chair here with your name on it, sir. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. <laughs> Desmond Flies. Who are you? Senor, por favor. We are no one. What's your name? Aiden O'Malley. Is that so? What are you doing, Mr. O'Malley? Surviving. Ah! What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Uh, Paul! My name is Leviticus Cornwall. Dear Uncle Tacitus, I do so hope you enjoyed your vacation. Lucky you. Apparently neither is too bad at this time of year. Please, come see us when you can. Yours sincerely, Caroline. Well, thank you. Darling niece, Caroline, I guess I'm coming to see you in LeCay. Pays. <laughs> Time's hard, Mr. Uh, uh, Milton. Jim Milton. Trouble with your welcome, but you kept your nerve and protected my property. No, it was nothing, sir. Mm -hmm. I'm David Geddes. Pleased to meet you. John, Jim, hmm. Milton. Thank you for the opportunity, sir. You and Mr. Dickens. Oh, 